Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Are you and uh, you know what's funny, guys? People coming in. Dave Griffin just walked in and he goes, Oh, this is much worse than the other snowstorm. <laughs> and so, you're like, Did you listen to anything I said? Uh, well, uh -oh. <laughs> I, I know. And, and here's the deal, you know, and uh, <laughs> as far as uh, amounts of snow, we had an inch of sleet with the last one two weeks ago. And then the first big snow, we had almost eight inches or seven inches. I know. It seems like though so, people have really had a tough time this morning well, on the roads. Lots of traffic out there. Yeah. And we did freeze that first layer That's of right. snow mm -hmm. and then we piled snow on top of us. We've had a lot of accidents. Yeah. There's more traffic today than I think the last couple yeah. of storms and that's part of the problem so here we go all right so looking out across the metro that's what you have to look forward to if you're stepping out here if you're walking out the door right now let's go to jeremy carter and get an update from jeremy on the roadways find out exactly where he is and uh, there you go if you go slow you can go that's the bottom line go ahead jeremy yes this grand boulevard and pn and I, david i pretty well made a loop of the city uh, some of the main thoroughfares are really getting I'd say decent or reasonable. Still a lot of slick spots, but here on a uh, here on PN, man, it is slick as can be, David. And you can tell by watching these people pulling up to this intersection. Best thing to do: take it slow. No reason to accelerate fast or take a turn fast. Best thing I can say is go slow. Back to you. All right, great job, Jeremy. Looking good. So there you go. Roads up. haven't improved a whole lot here, but in some areas they have. Let's go to Hank and Patty Brown, and they've not improved here, so the roads are still really bad. But we're starting to see a few little areas developing a little slush, which is means, uh, yeah, means a little bit of some melting going on. Let's get an update from Hank. Yeah, David, this is uh, near 119th and Western, and this is a snow route. You can see where they've salted or sanded it and treated it, but this is solid ice. Um, when I was on I-35, where they were plowing, it was starting to become a little more slushy. But then that was a bad thing because there was ice underneath it. And when it went to grab your tires, it was pulling people around. So, yeah, it's pretty slick out here this morning. Just, yeah, take it easy. Or if you can wait a couple of hours, it'll get better here by lunchtime. Back to you. Yeah, absolutely. And it will get better. This is, again, like we've been saying, the worst part of this is the morning. Okay, uh, let's go to Brandon Pennell, get an update from Brandon. So there's Hank's shot. Let's take Brandon's shot here. And notice... We see a little bit more slush in his shot. Let's get an update from Brandon on the roadways and uh, find out exactly. Brandon, it looks like uh, Broadway Extension there. Go ahead. Yeah, David, we're at Broadway Extension coming up on Britain southbound. Um, I will say that, you know, just to copy off of what Jeremy was saying about the interstates, they're in a lot better shape, even though, you know, there's still snow cover. It, it's become a lot more slushy than what it was, you know, even an hour ago. So you can get around. You just got to give yourself plenty of time. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for spring. Back yeah. to you. Uh, I th I th Brandon is ready for thunderstorms. No doubt about it. All right. So, hey, the moisture is good. We'll take whatever, however we're going to get it, right? All right. Let's go to links one. Between now and noon, snow becomes lighter. It's beginning to happen now. Roads are still slick and hazardous, but they're, they're going to get a little bit better between now and noon. All right. But from noon on, the snow has stopped. Roads improved. We get above 32 degrees, and that's a good thing. Road conditions right now, at their worst, running along and north of I-40, western, central, northern, eastern Oklahoma. They're not good, but they will get better. Look at the snow now in Guthrie. It's mainly light snow, still heavier snow at Northwest Expressway and Hefner Parkway. And there is OCCC, Southwest Metro, still snowing there. Norman, you can still see the snow falling. Visibilities are fairly low, and... Wow, look at that shot from our Mathis Brothers cam. It is snowing. I-40 and I-44 interchange. All right, so our snow is stretched out. It's this one big band. This is the big bang. Once it moves by you and stops, it's over with. But here in the metro, we still have light to moderate snow. The yellow, that is moderate to heavy snow. That's beginning to shift east of Oklahoma City. But we still have some pockets of moderate to heavy snow from Choctaw up to Luther and Kearney, Meeker, Prague, Little Seminole, Wewoka, Holdenville. Good snows here, and then more snow back at I-40. So it's not going to end in the next hour. This is going to go on the next several hours, and then it's going to gradually end. It'll come to an end, and that'll be all she wrote. Light snow going on up in Guthrie. Southern Oklahoma, your snow's still coming, but down here we have some light to moderate pockets of snow. You might have a little sleet down in here just for fun. And northern Oklahoma, Enid, it's over with. Ceiling, Fairview, it's over with. Elk City, it's ending there now. Snowing heavy now just west of Mangum to Granite. That will slide southeast. Altus, here comes your snow. It's just to your northwest. So, Lacey, still snowing. It's just snowing pretty good in Oklahoma City. And uh, 
Wow, it's been kind of a wild morning. Slick and hazardous. One of the worst driving conditions as far as the mornings are concerned out of all the winter storms that we've had just due to the fact that we had the ice and the snow this morning. Love your pictures, though. The pets loving the snow. So many of the kiddos at least ones that aren't having to do school from home. Man, it's a great snow as far as that's concerned because it's been so fluffy. Those large flakes up in Edmond. Haley sent us that picture about two inches, closing in on it anyway. In Norman, thank you, Steve, for that. In Prague, Oklahoma, off towards the east, another blanket of snow. Looks like a winter wonderland. One of our coworkers said, I just listened to Christmas music my whole way in, took it slow, was safe. That's what you got to do. It ain't going anywhere anytime really in the next hour or so. So just enjoy it. If you don't have to get out on the roads, just wait a little bit. It's going to get a lot better. We've had sleet and even some grapple down in south central Oklahoma in sulfur. Now it's transitioning to snow, though. So we've had one to two to three inches across central Oklahoma, the heaviest from Kingfisher, Guthrie, Perkins up to Cushing. We've had some pictures being sent in up near Cushing of four to five inches of snow, an inch up to the north. So there are pockets that's been very heavy. A lot of cloud cover now, but the sun is up and it will go to work. So our roads that are covered in snow will melt, become slushy and just wet by about noon and then really improve into the afternoon. I think you're going to be good to go. Temperatures are in the 20s right now. We've got a north wind 15 to 30. Feels like the single digits and teens. We've warmed a degree or two. We will warm into the mid 30s later today and a lot of the snow that's out there, not even just the roadways, will start to melt. So this morning, a 100% chance of snow, but by this afternoon, we're left with flurries and it's out of here. On average, one to two inches with bullseyes up to three. In the darker blue, two to three with some bullseyes to four inches. And this afternoon, we're warming back into the 30s. It's still going to be cold with a north wind tonight down into the teens. And then tomorrow, your Saturday, 50s on the way, 60s for your Sunday, some 70s out in the panhandle, but turning very windy. So this Arctic air is out of here. Today's the coldest day. We'll have a slight chance for showers on Tuesday, thunderstorm chances on Thursday with the cool down, but no Arctic air after this showing up. We'll have much more coming up after this.